to your beginning of the month reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. We have Shine. Got the sun shining over here with the root chakra saying, hey, look, we're getting back to the basics over here. But there's a lot of vitality when it comes to the root chakra. That's saying, you know what? I know what I have. I'm very happy. I'm very stable um, when it comes to this situation. And I just want to shine. Um, bringing that warmth to the relationship, to yourself, to your career, home, life, however it is. Um, so really liking that. So let's see what's going on over here. Stepping on the situation. Loving that sun. Talking about that speedy action. Can you have a lot of text messages coming in? Things that are going to make you very happy. Finding that manifesting things quickly are coming within your life. A lot of you are traveling and getting ready to travel. Um, or setting up plans to travel, um, but definitely saying there's also this swift change that's coming around you. Um, you do have the temperance, so make sure that you are keeping yourself balanced and moderately moving. Do not allow any too many quick decisions to, uh, you know, take control, um, only for the fact that it, it does seem like it's very sensible, um, but it does feel like no matter what's going on, it's still going to be quick, and it's kind of crazy. It's like even though things are moving really, really fast around you, it might make you feel like you're supposed to move really, really fast too. But Spirit is saying, hey, but I want you to take it a little bit slow. You don't have to jump so, so fast, right? Be patient. Be sensible about the situation. Because if you move as quick as what's everything is changing around you, right, you could actually be thrown off balance. So it's not going to give your mind enough time to really think. So to keep that sunshine, to keep that glory, to keep you in that spotlight, it says just maintain balance, okay? So you could have someone around you who's very greedy around this situation. Somebody who, you know, is uh, self-centered and wants it kind of their way. Um, they don't see the things that you're looking at. Definitely not seeing the things you're looking at. They're seeing things in a different light. You're prepared to keep moving the way you need to move and keep pushing. Um, and it just feels like they are um, being a little stingy, maybe overspending. They're in a greed mode. Okay. And it could be because you're maybe you're moving so fast and maybe you're getting a lot of money though too. So just be careful of your partner's needs or whoever this person is because it does feel like they're expressing a lot of greediness or self-centeredness. Okay, so they could be a little egomatic right now, <clears throat> whoever that is around you. Yeah, it feels like uh, they know that they're a little overwhelmed. They may be a little defensive when it comes to certain situations. You might be making a lot of money. You've been planting a lot of seeds. You might be making a lot of money and they might be wanting to spend it faster Spending it faster than you make it. So just be careful of that. Because there's that overspending. I see that. Okay, so, and if it's you and you know you're making a lot of a lot of money, it's like, calm down a little bit, right? Don't overspend too fast, right? Keep yourself moderate. Okay. So it does say that you are in the Queen of Pentacles mode right now. So definitely feeling like you're nurturing the situation, but you're also being supportive and practical about these situations. You don't want to shy away from the leads or the projects or anything that's going on, but you're trying to stay adaptable and open to, you know, getting the things that you want and listening to what it is they want. But it just feels like they may want too much. Okay, so just be careful of that, okay? They could be watching you make this money, watching you bringing in this money. They might even be someone who sees you making a lot of money. Maybe they want to come back around because you're making money. What? I don't like that one, though. I hear that one every now and again. It's almost like now that you start making money, they want to come back. Because they see you progressing. They see you doing very well. They see you in success. They see you shining, and now they want a piece of that cake, too. So it's almost like now they want to communicate their feelings with you, but it's all for greed. It's For some of you, it's, uh, okay. It's 
a gold digger for some of you. Because you can almost say, because I wasn't being very successful before, or I lost my job, or I was in a really bad place, and they didn't want anything to do with me then because I, I couldn't get my foot through the door. But now all of a sudden, when I'm being recognized, I'm making all this money, I'm doing very good in the world. Now they want to come back, and they want to have a piece of that, that cake. Um, they want to invest more time in me because they see that I have money. They see I've upgraded. Maybe you bought a new truck. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It's almost like, uh, yeah, you have this green, it's kind of like these groundbreaking events are happening within my life and now all of a sudden they want a piece of that where they didn't want anything before, but now they see you as the king, they see you as the emperor, they see you as this moneymaker. Absolutely, going against the grain. What is this? I almost feel in some ways they may have rose-colored glasses because they may think that you're going to take them back. They're leaping at you with like this blind faith that you're going to take them back, that you're going to allow them to come back into your, your life. sure it's like the grass isn't greener for you you're like no I'm not taking you back they need to find more self-love you're detached for them because you're going after your own love or you already have a different love this person wants to come back I think they're wearing rose-colored glasses I think that they think that you're just gonna let them back because because they said so <laughs> Mind games. They think their mind games are going to work. They need to find a lot of self-love. They feel like they have unfinished business with you. Why, though? Because it almost feels like, okay, well, where were they? Where were they before when we were having problems? Why weren't they there to help work this shit out? Why all of a sudden... You're doing good, and you're the king of the castle, the queen of the castle. I don't see them struggling with you. Maybe they did struggle with you for a long time, but they didn't want to fight with you. Life's about a fight. It's about a struggle. It's about getting through shit. I don't see them standing with you through the tough times. Like I said, it could have been for a little while, and they, they threw the towel in and said it ain't never going to change. But it's almost like they never gave that opportunity to wait for a change, to struggle 100% with you. Now they're saying, oh, well, we have an unfinished business. I, you know, they have a lot of emotional baggage. It's almost like they're saying, but I left my bags with you. I left the skeletons in your closet, so I'm going to come and, you know, get my baggage. But, you know, in that baggage, you know, it's saying, you know, all my good stuff is there. We can work this out. But it's like, because now I have money, because now I have a career, because now I have a new car, because now I've, I've got my up, because now I'm happier. You see me smiling. You see me up. You see me charging forward, strong. They may even think that you have more than you do have from misinformation. Somebody might be gossiping and saying you have way more than you have, and they think that, you know, you won, like, won the lottery. And you're like, I've got a lot, but I've worked really, really hard, It's but I don't have what you think I have because of misinformation or misconception. Like, they're misconceiving the whole situation. It's almost like you went from, like, rose-colored glasses to beer goggles. 
your goggle situation is like pretty much, and come on guys, you know what that means. It can mean so many different things, right? In this scenario, it's almost like just because I got a new truck, you know, you think I have tons of freaking money. It's like, yeah, I have more money than I did before. That's why I have a new truck. But you're, they're making it sound like you're rich or something. But no matter what, this is some rose-colored glasses because they really do believe you're going to take them back. Why do they think this? Why do they think, Spirit, that they're going to take them back? Because they left their baggage? Because they left some luggage? Because I left my, I left my shoes at your house? Fresh new start, understandings, potential, wanting the urge for growth. They think that you will reconcile with them because you have true desires for it. Beer, I'm sorry, this is rose, because I'm going to say, you can say beer goggles, I'll give it to you, but this is definitely rose-colored glasses because this is saying that they believe that you have the urge and the want and the understanding to bring this back together that you will have this overall breakthrough. They believe you want this opportunity with them, that you are going to reconcile all of this with them because you, I just like the feeling for me is like, I can't live without you. And it's like, no, 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 no. You're miscon. I'm sorry. This is a misconception. This is their rose colored glasses because in, if anything, the person I see as who is overwhelmed and can't live without someone and has codependency would be this person because why else would you come back when you see someone else doing good, just give me a devil card. Just give me the devil card. Give me something. Fear and anxiety. Manipulation. Going to manipulate you through the situation. There's the devil. Thank you. That's why I said, just give me a double card. I don't care if it's right side up, if it's upside down, because if it's upside down, it's for you. If it's right side up, it's them no matter what. Right, no matter what, it's saying you're releasing the limiting beliefs. You're not going to take this back. You, I, you have some resentment maybe even stored up about this person. Um, and you're like, no, I'm not going to reconcile with you because I have a lot of resentment. Maybe they left you hanging. Maybe there was a third party. Maybe they left you for someone else. Maybe they are a gold digger. Maybe they did leave you for some Leo and said, you know what? Because they have money, I'm going with them. And now they want to travel back to you because now they see you doing good or they see you with a new love or whatever the situation is. They see you doing good no matter what because you're the son. Yeah, there's past resentment on your part. Past resentment. There's just like no way, Jose. You left me to drown. You cut your loss. You left me to drown. I have no regrets in the end, but lots of resentment. So you could have a lot of resentment built up. Okay. And it doesn't mean you didn't forgive them. Okay. It just means that I'm resenting that there is no way I'm going to have the desire. They have the desire to want to reconcile the situation. You have the resentment saying, no way. I've learned this lesson. I've played this game with you. We're not playing this game again. You're going after your own stuff and doing it either alone or you have a new love or you have whatever you have. You have your passions. You share with who you want to share with. Right? You have the will of fortune. Some of you already have new love. You're doing what you want to love. You're committing yourself to your higher self. You're already in some kind of connection. Yeah. So they definitely feel like they're going to get away with this for their own inner selfishness and happiness. Ten of Cups coming up on themselves, saying, but this is my fulfillment. I want this. I want this contentment with you. I want this dream of mine. But was it really a dream? Because it's very, very fragmented of a dream. How could it all of a sudden be a dream when they left you to drown? And they didn't even throw you a rowboat or a, or a whatever. They didn't throw you nut shit to get out. Or there was nothing you could do. They just needed to be there with you and be connected to you to help you through emotionally. Learning lessons, inevitable end, but they
they want the ace of pentacles. They want all these aces. They really do believe that this is going, that they're going to manifest you back. I don't see it. I'm sorry, I don't see it. Nope, you've made clear boundaries. You're very cold about the situation. This is definitely, 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 definitely a Mercury retrograde uh, learning lesson reading. You definitely have an ex coming back. That's all about the karmic, all about the endings, all about all about the learning lesson through the situation. <clears throat> they need to learn that they can't do stuff like this. They have to learn that the cycle is over and that you can't just leave people dying, metaphorically. <clears throat> and then think that it's okay to come back with your rose-colored glasses and be like, everything's fine. Or your beer goggles or whatever the hell you want to call it, right? Um, but seriously, there's something really wrong here. This is very wrong. You're having the patience. You're moving on. You're traveling. You're doing wonderful, beautiful things. I, you know, the reading starts so beautiful, but then you notice why. It was like, why did it end up this way with this person? Because they want you to understand your life is moving forward beautifully. You know you're in a beautiful, a beautiful place. You know, you might not have everything you want. That wasn't the point. The point was I'm shining. I'm feeling good. So as soon as I'm feeling good, they see you doing something or hear that you're doing something, you know, through the, the wilderness, right? Through gossip, whatever. And now they want a piece of that. But I'm telling you, the majority of you, this person left you hanging. They only struggled with you until it was misfortunate for themselves, and then they let you go. And now that they see that it could be fortunate for them, they're going to come back. Because it's this is a very selfish person. Very selfish, selfish person. I just, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Let's get the portal card. I'm done. So just be aware of this, okay? You guys just keep going strong and doing what you need to do. You know, take the mat up from your door. Take your welcome mat up. So that way they don't think they're welcome. Ancestral realm, karmic relief. There it is again. It is. It's a lesson. It's Mercury retrograde at its finest right here, my friends. The learning lessons. Will you take this person back? Is there enough love to take this person back? Do you want to learn this lesson? But I will tell you one thing. If you do take them back, you will have a karmic lesson. Because this is definitely a karmic, literally a karmic relationship. It's definitely a karmic soulmate. If you're trying to get here and stay here, this is karmic relationship for sure. It's got it all over it. Learning. There's the codependency, the toxicities. Okay. So, yeah, there it is again. Getting on your way to where you, where you align with the stars and find the soul family that aligns with you who can make you very, very happy because this right here is highly karmic. It's almost like you already broke the chains. Why, why would you want to go mend the chains? Why would you want to go mend the chains? You already broke them. You're going to go solder them back together? Absolutely not. They're rusty, they're old, they're broken. There's no need to be soldering those back together. We give it a new link. That's all my friends, I'm telling you. You got this. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.